Soccer season may have come and gone, but we have an opportunity to recognize two of our best soccer players here at Baldwin Wallace, and they were recognized nationally for their achievement both on the field and in the classroom. Danny Ruppel and Rachel Bender named Academic All-Americans, and it's the first time since 2012 on the men's side, first time since 2008 that we've had a women's soccer player named uh, Academic All-American. So with that in mind, congratulations, because it's an, it's an awesome opportunity to uh, certainly compete out in the field, but man, when you when you excel in the classroom and earn that recognition, that's pretty cool. Well, what's it mean to you when you found out that you know this was this was something that's going to be on your on your resume now forever? Um, for me, it was kind of a bittersweet moment. Uh, the boys' team didn't have as good of a season as I hoped, but um, it was nice to know that for me, it was a great accomplishment for me. Yeah, I don't know. It's just a really cool thing to have to say you got um, ever since I got here well not since I was a freshman but like sophomore junior year Jim was like you just keep your grades up keep going like you can do this um, it's not very like we haven't had one since what'd you say 2008? Yeah Ellie Woodkin in fact it was Jim's daughter back yeah. in 2008. Yeah so it's been pretty cool. It's uh, it was awesome to watch the two of you compete for a moment let's talk about what it was like to be out on the field Danny had a, a season that was record-breaking in several different ways. He set the school record in goals, set the school record in points. At, at what point throughout the course of the year did you kind of feel like things were really starting to click for you? Um, about after the third game where I hit the post, which is kind of a curse for me because last year I hit the post about the first seven games in and I couldn't score. But oh, man. So this season I was like, I'm not going to let the post deter me from my goal this year. So. Um, so after like the first or second uh, conference game, I knew things were starting to go my way. That's awesome. It was fun to watch you score a couple of different times this year at hat tricks. In fact, uh, one in a matter of about three minutes. <laughs> when you look back at a game like that, is it is it somewhat good fortune? Is it good luck? But certainly you have to be able to put the ball in that right. I mean, how how do you describe putting three goals in in three minutes? Um, I. <laughs> I just remember the first two, the ball came to me and I was like, I'm kind of close to goal, so I'm just going to put it on frame. And the third one was lucky. I think it was a free kick outside the box and it just trickled in somehow. I don't, it was really lucky. <laughs> well, fun nonetheless. Rachel obviously had a great year as well and was one of the best players in the conference once again this year. As you kind of look at where you want to take your academic career, right? I know you've still got a little bit of time left here, but... Um, You've got a lot of school in front of you, and, yeah. and what excites you about what you want to do? Um, well, I obviously have to go to grad school for two to three years. I can do a master's and doctorate program combined, or just a master's program. So I kind of have a lot to figure out before I know like, exactly what I want to do. But I know for sure I want to work with kids, maybe in a hospital, maybe in a school. But, I mean, not 100% sure, and I don't think I'll know for sure until mm -hmm. I go through that master's or doctorate program. Well, the good part about lots of those programs is that you have time to figure that out along the way. But yeah. Um, working with young kids and doing speech therapy, and in Danny's case, uh, as an accounting major at BW, you've certainly had a lot of great opportunities in the classroom. Well, I'm wondering why BW was a great fit for you, and I'm sure the fact that your dad's worked here for 20 plus years uh, had something to do with it. So, growing up, my dad always used to take me to the soccer games here when I was five, all the way until like I was in high school around 16 or 17. And I always got to go down on the field and shoot at halftime. And it's just an incredible atmosphere to be a part of growing up and just now to know that I'm in on the field it's an incredible dream so pretty cool how about for you Rachel um I don't know I always get asked this question why BW <laughs> I don't know uh well first of all Jim did an awesome job recruiting me and I mean everyone that knows Jim knows that he's an awesome guy so he had a huge part in it and then just like also like going on my um tour around campus like it's just I don't know like I love the feel of the campus uh, the soccer team gym the coaching staff and then also like my major it's super good here they have a super good program for my major so that helped a lot perfect yeah well it's certainly been fun to watch both of them and the good news is neither of them are seniors and so we get to continue to enjoy their work on the field and in the classroom next year congratulations to both of you academic all-americans not something you should take lightly pretty cool thank you thank you